Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks in Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily use the R programming language and then how we can easily visualize the different types of satellite imagery. It can be Landsat or it can be Sentinel. Anyone satellite images, you can easily read and visualize using this process. So first of all, you just simply uh, open your R Studio. So here I already opened this R Studio. Just I simply uh, write some code in here, and then I can easily visualize and read the satellite imagery. Before that, first of all, you need to install some packages. So how we can easily install packages? Very easy. Just you can simply click on the package, and you can see the install button. Just simply write your package name. In this time, first of all, I need the package, mainly raster image, raster package I need for read the raster image. Just simply click on the install. So now we can see it installed the raster image. All of those necessary file install it. Okay, you can see successfully done about that raster package. You can see successfully this package install it in my system. Further, I need to install it the other, mainly ggplot2, ggplot2, this package for visualize and make the plotting. So, install. So, now the ggplot is also installed in your system. Okay, you can see successfully it's unpacked and install it. And further, I need to install the tider. So just I simply write this package name and then install. So basically, these three packages we need. Further, I also try to show you the more advanced work for the R Studio. So just I simply can see it's also the successfully unpack this tider. So in this time, I just simply uh, import this type of library. So just I simply use that uh, library. And import all of this library, which I need. I need the one library for the roster. I also need the another library. I already installed this library. Mainly, this library is the ggplot2, ggplot2. And also need the another library, mainly tider. And in this time, I simply run. So, for simply selecting all of those things and run, you can see. It will be uh, successfully imported in my system. You can see. Okay. So in this time, after doing these things, after importing all of those library in your system, just you have to import your satellite images in your files. In this time, this is my directory uh, folder. This uh, folder mainly connect with my R Studio. So in this folder, I already. Uh, Put a image. So mainly I put the Landsat peep image. Here you can see Landsat peep image. So today I will show you that how we can easily read this image in our programming language. So first of all, I just take give a variable name. Suppose you can put any name as a variable. I put the variable name suppose uh, image. Okay. And now I have to use a function. I just call a function. It's called the brick function. And then mention the name. Okay. In this time. This folder is already connecting with my R Studio. Okay, so in this time, we simply write this name about my file name, Landsat. You can see Landsat.tip format. I just simply put here the tip. Okay, and for the run this, you can see it will work. There is no problem. So now I want to visualize it. So for that, I just simply use here the plot RGB, and then call this image and click to the run so in this time you can see it plot a image without visualization mainly without default band combination it show the plot okay you can see we can get totally black color image okay in this time i want to set the different types of band combination such as red green blue as well as also suppose near infrared red and blue so this type of band combination how i can set very easy. You will just simply uh, put here R band equal 4, suppose, 
and then put at that uh, b equal to 2 and then uh, suppose put at that okay put at that mainly g equal to 3 okay so we are just take the three band four three and two and also put at the stress stress mention the stress lean okay so now click to the run we can check what happened it working okay so now you can see here we can get this type of color mainly it showed the false color composite in this time it show this type of false color composite so basically here you can see it show the four three and two okay you can easily get it idea when i just import this image in my r qjs software here you can see okay just i simply open this image suppose this is the image uh, in this time i just use the same image in also uh, r studio so for that I just simply click on here and further go to this symbology. You can see the properties from here. I go to the symbology. Here you can see I simply set here that uh, SRB5. Also, you can see SRB4, mainly near infrared red. and put at the srb3 okay near infrared red and blue and then apply and okay so now we can get this image look like that as a false color composite now you can see the band combination it show the band 4 band 3 and band 2 so in this time band 4 3 and 2 when just use at the band 4 in the same uh, serial i simply put in here sequence 4 3 and 2 then i can got the false color composite suppose i want to create the natural color so mainly what is the natural color natural color is the rgb red band green band and blue band so in this time red band is the b4 and put at the green band b3 and blue band b2 just apply and okay so now i can get the natural color actually what human i can see and now you can see what is the serial about the band three two and one when i just put in my code three to one just put in here three then two and one and click to the run i can get the natural color band combination so now i can see it working okay so now you can get the totally natural color band combination about that suppose in this time you want to add the another band combination such as uh, go to the properties and now to set here suppose short wave infrared mainly srb6 then put at the short near infrared srb4 and put at the green band okay so now you can check about the band combination apply and okay i can get this type of band combination mainly it is the short wave in for it near infrared and green then i can get this type of band combination i want to set this type of band combination in my r code so for that i need to select the five four and two so just i simply select in here five four and two so now i can get this type of band combination it working okay so like i said i can get the same band combination about that so basically this is the process for visualize the different types of band combination using r studio in r programming language so further i also try to discuss about the more details about that remote sensing analysis using r studio then i hope you can easily understand all of those things so today is no more and if you want to join my live training session you can simply contact in my video description you can get all of this information for joining my live training session if you want you can simply contact and then get the 
different types of kissing support and other things. So today is no more. Stay happy. Stay safe. Thank you for watching that.